All right, for send the character from ZBrush to Marmoset, you have to do some simple things. For optimize the scenes in Marmoset. First, you have to disemit your character. We have six million polygons in the face right now, and you can export it like this. Not a big deal for Marmoset. But you also can optimize the scenes more and get faster result. You can open the Z plugin tabs and click on this little button. Open the summation master and click on purpose as current. I usually choose 35% because it keeps the details to some extent. I don't need very small facial pores right now. Click on Decimate Current. So now we have 2 minutes polygons and almost 4 minutes less than before. Do only the subtools that you think are heavy. In order to find them better, we can name them. Go for FX tab and set your setting like this. Turn on as normals because we should have as smooth normals on the surface and export. Well, we're now in Marmoset and we have to import our model. Go to the file menu and click on import. Select on your file. In order for my light settings to be similar for you, you should pay attention to the reference scale. Open viewport settings and click on show scale reference. Zoom out and see the reference. Our character is here and it's very small. You can select creature and press R for a scale, then a scale your model. Something like that, bring it up. Yeah, it's fine. Um, this is not a complete tutorial for Marmoset, I will only tell you what I use to render my characters. Okay, we need some light source. We can click on this icon to create a lamp. Look at it. I usually use this as side of light. For the first step, we need to define our main light or key light. Almost something like this. This is good for now. And to make very dark areas brighter, we can use a skylight, but we have to reduce it and rotate a little. Set the mode to color and choose black. For the better result of render, you have to click on this and turn on use ray tracing. Boom. Enter the material that each model has. I didn't polybin the model and you're just going to give it a blank color. And also play with roughness and metalness, and maybe a little light for the eyes. Now add the camera and set where you want the final image to be. One of the most important options is field of view. I set it to 22 because I think it's good for me and gives me a more portrait image. Well, I told you the basic important things, now it depends on the settings you use. Follow the steps and pay attention to the settings. And this is our final result. It will be definitely better if you spend more time on the method. If you're curious about how this character was made, be sure to check the previous video.
Thanks again, and I see you soon.